Hi, this is Steve Wyborny, and today I'd like to share a number concept map with you. A number concept map begins like this. Every student in the classroom has a blank number concept map, and you provide a number, the same number, to every student in the classroom. So every student writes down the number, and then everyone's job is to have their concept maps filled in completely with different representations of that number. I recommend using a composite number and being sure that every student does have the same number. Then the students will move around the room and give their maps to one another and ask each other to fill in representations of that number. So 24 could be represented in many different ways. This is a representation of 24, 3 times 8, there are 24 intersections, and so on. And as the students move around the room and ask one another for representations of 24, the students who receive the number concept maps are supposed to look at the representations that have already been created here I see six rectangles or six squares with four sides each representing 24 sides. As the students look at the representations, they're supposed to find a new way, a new representation that has not been shown yet to add to the number concept map. When the students are finished, their number concept map might look something like this, and they will all look very different from each other. When a student has a completed number concept map, that is really the beginning of the conversation. Now this is a really rich point to go back and say, how are some of these representations related? So for example, here we see 8 plus 8 plus 8. 3 eighths is related to 3 times 8. And then we can look for other representations of the same concept. Here's another one right here. 3 groups of 8 is equal to 24, and we see several relationships within that. And then there's one more clear representation of 3 times 8, which is right here. You might ask students to look for other similar um, ideas which are represented in different ways. So 4 times 6, or 6 times 4, 6 groups of 4, or here we also see 4 times 6. And then from there we might challenge students to connect those representations with other similar representations. So how is 4 groups of 6 connected to two groups of 12. So again, here is a blank number concept map. I do recommend using composite numbers and making sure that every student in the classroom has the same number to use. You can download the blank number concept map right here. Use it in your classroom. I would love to hear about your classroom experience using the number concept map. Thank you.